It's no secret that street art and graffiti in general is illegal. If caught, it's usually cops, sirens, and handcuffs. But it's changed, you know what I mean? You can't just say graffiti and think you're gonna get anywhere. Unless somebody's getting shot at, cops are not coming. The beautification that it will do is something that, that is gonna help Detroit become a better place. For some reason, street artists tend to do large and wheat pace in Montreal. The police presence isn't like other cities either. It's not as strong as, say, Toronto and the like. Think of it, like, before, like, say, 10 years ago, if you wanted to find out about Graf, you had to go to the Graf shop. You had to go look at the Graf magazines and talk to the Graf writers about what paint is out, you know? For instance, if you paint on any level of city property, no matter what it is, it's like no questions asked, it's a felony. The, the graffiti removal programs here are pretty intense. Because I think, hey, it's great to give artists a place to show their work. It's better to pay them and let them know that you have real value in our society. I couldn't really sit still too long, so I decided to kind of create something that I thought would be fun and uh, grab a lot of people's attention that's different than the normal uh, street art that's usually done in Philly. There's a lot of things going on in the city, something that moves beyond what got us to where we are. The neighborhood I grew up in on the west side has never been as bad as it is now.